Online with Starter, start by double-clicking Inputs Outputs under the Control Unit in the Project Tree. The Input Output window opens. From the Digital Inputs tab, note that the LEDs on the left side of the screen are grayed out while all of the LEDs are green on the right side. This is because the right-hand LEDs are indicating the NOT condition of the input. All terminals are in a low state at this time. Digital inputs 0, 1, and 2 have now gone high as indicated by the left-hand LEDs. Note that the right-hand LEDs are now grayed out as they are knotted. We will now monitor the analog inputs of the drive. Click the Analog Inputs tab. In the example, the analog input 0 has 3.438 volts input which correlates to 34.2% on the output of the screen. Analog input 1 has 1.1 volts input. As the voltage on the input terminal increases, the monitored values increase as well. Analog input 0 now has 8.043 volts input, which correlates to 80.4% on the output. The input voltage has now been removed from the terminal. The ability to monitor both digital and analog input signals can be a very valuable troubleshooting tool.